Me from the past who decided to create an AI with help of machine learning. Sometimes I just surprise myself with the new problem solving ideas. Sometimes they could be fun, ambitious and creative, but sometimes they could be plain out horrendous. I'm of course talking about my roguelike genital simulator in a battle arena game. The game is called Arena Working and I was working on it for quite a while. Since the player needs to clean and repair the battle arena, I need to create an AI that must destroy the place first. So one day I started working on this exact issue. By the way, I wanted to say that I am completely overwhelmed by your support. It means a lot to me and I am placing two more keys for builders in this video, just to say thank you. Ok, let's get back to the video. During the planning phase, I end up with following list of desired features for an AI. First, I like TF2, so generally characters should behave a bit goofy and cartoony. Then, characters should imitate real-life FPS players, strafe, wander around and jump constantly, of course. Next, characters must have different tactical attack patterns and difficulty settings. Besides that, characters should know the map, but don't use a wall hack to achieve their goals. And the last one, they must be able to interact with the map, take covers, capture objectives, shoot and search for ammo bags and medkits if needed. Well, that sounds like a very sophisticated AI indeed. And yes, for some reason I decided to delegate this complex task to a robot, to be exact, to the machine learning algorithm. Because of um, reasons. If you don't know what machine learning is, let me quickly explain. You're probably familiar with neural networks like ChatGPT or Midjourney. To make them work, you need to create analytic algorithms and feed them a bunch of content. ChatGPT was taught on billions of different texts, Midjourney was taught on billions of images. Machine learning in Unity works in the same way. First, you make an algorithm for desired behavior set its possible actions like movement, jumps, attacking and so on. And most importantly, you set a reward system to train AI to properly reward good behavior and punish for bad behavior. After algorithm is set up, we can proceed to feed him content. But what is the content for this AI? It's not a text or image. If this AI is going to produce gameplay, we need to feed them gameplay too. So we need to train this algorithm by making him play against himself for a million times. Actually, it's quite easy to do with Unity ML Agent package, which helps to do exactly that. Place AI actors, set up environment and go live your life, while machine learning will do everything for you. Right? Uh, right? No! <laughs> right now, I think it's time to tell you the reasons why I decided to try machine learning in the first place. I wanted to achieve this feeling of uncertain movement from a character. He should know his goal, but achieve it in non-100% efficient way possible. You know? Most of TF2 bots look too brainless when they move as a mob from one point to another. So machine learning could solve this exact issue with ease. I guess by controlling the process time of machine learning, I can control its cleverness. Less time for training, dumber the AI. Sounds logical. So that final variant of AI ends up kind of not clever. At the end of the day, in the game, you are not playing against or with this AI, so it serves a very important role, but most importantly as a background. So yes, as you already might have guessed from the title of this video, I have failed. Adventure going up. And I got a several red alerts along the way. All tutorials videos dated 2020 with no major updates or cases since then. This exact video from Jonas Pyroa. Even after improving the AI and giving it more time to train, the results were iffy at best. So all in all, a big disappointment. My constantly crashing training laptop. Perfect. 
kill me later. And no major progress after months of training. And you know what? I ignored all of them and abandoned this approach far too late than I should have. The results were devastating. It takes ages to train. It's too dumb and constantly fails his goals. It's too slow and unoptimized to run and support more than 8 characters on one map. Making him aim and shoot was close to impossible for the same reasons. Any adjustments to the character, velocity, size, health or ammo capacity destroys its performance. And the icing on the cake, this exact AI that was trained on one map works only on that map. If you want to use this AI on different map, do the training process from the scratch. So one day I decided to bite the bullet and redo the AI with the help of Unity AI navigation system and ordinal AI state behavior approach. Needless to say, I achieved the result of 7 months of machine learning training in 3 days of hard work. It still looks a bit robust and unnatural, but it is all solvable. And most importantly, it works fast and allows fine-tuning, speed, size, even changing the map layout won't affect AI efficiency in the slightest. Actually, I want to make one more video talking about those silly fellas later. But uh, right now I want to quickly close this video with some good cases when using machine learning is a good idea. Um, in my opinion, of course. First, you don't have a fast-paced game with zero tolerance for lag or freezes. You don't need many on-screen machine taught AI characters. Next, you do have a monster PC that you can keep idle for weeks of training. And the last one, you and nobody on the internet know how to write an AI for your specific case. The last one is really important. Machine learning is a tool, first of all, and you need to treat it like one. If you need to hammer a nail, you're gonna use a hammer, not an iron. Sometimes you may stumble upon a task that you will have hard time solving with your common knowledge. Most of the time, it's a very exotic task that nobody encountered before. In this specific scenario, machine learning may become this silver bullet. You feed it possible actions and desired outcomes, and sooner or later you will end up with the result. I hope I haven't bored you with all of these AI nuances. Again, your immense support gives me a lot of inspiration for future videos, so stay tuned for updates. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, this is so stupid.